I yield the remainder of my time to Mr. Raskin. Well, thank you kindly. Uh, thank you kindly, Ms. Norton, for that. Um, Mr. Comer referred to a 2019 wire to Hunter Biden while President Biden was not in office. Uh, he was a private citizen, so of course was Hunter Biden. Hunter Biden has never held public office. Mr. Smith referenced a DOJ email from 2020 during the Trump administration. Uh, so Professor Gerhardt, well, I mean, what do you make of the idea of impeaching a president uh, while he's in office for something that his son did uh, or may have received uh, when the president wasn't in office? It's not consistent with the American legal system. Just imagine if the names are switched. Just imagine if this was Jared Kushner well, or one of President Trump's sons. Mr. Smith uh, talked about $20 million that he thought Hunter Biden had received and uh, put in the names of different family members. Uh, I think the Washington Post has debunked that as recently as this weekend, saying it was like eight or nine million, but let's say it were 20 million. That's 1% of the $2 billion that was brought back uh, by Jared Kushner from Saudi Arabia to a company that Jared Kushner created the day after the Trump administration uh, ended. But assuming there were no other evidence, would it be fair to attribute that $2 billion that, uh, Hunt, that uh, Jared Kushner pocketed with the $25 million management fee every year that Jared Kushner pocketed, would it be fair to attribute all of that to Donald Trump because it's his son-in-law? Uh, no, not without any evidence actually showing the president knew it. Yeah. So, or, or approved it. Because the principle of American law is that people are responsible for their own conduct and not the conduct of their adult children. Is that right? That's correct. Thank you. And to the gentlelady for yielding, and I yield back. 